Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll teach you how to create a pop-up um, box like this on your website where you can collect emails or just write a welcome message. So keep on watching this tutorial if you want to learn how to create something like this or a similar design. So start by going to your dashboard and then go up here and click edit site. Once you've loaded onto your Wix website editor, simply head to the left hand side here where you see a plus symbol that says add elements and click. From here, the first section, I want you to go down to interactive, then I want you to go to promotion. And now you have loads of different pop up um, <coughs> designs to choose from. Um, and you simply choose the one that you think fits within your website and the design you're looking for. For this tutorial, I'm going to go with this one as I like the blurred out background that you can see here. So simply click. So the first thing you can start by is adding your own picture. So simply go and click on the picture here and now click change image. From here, you can either upload your own media to, to the Wix website and add um, that can act as the background. Or you can go down to explore and click on media from Wix and have loads of um, free pictures to choose from. Let's say this is a pet shop site, so I'm going to search for dog. And I'm going to use this one as I think that's a good picture for it. Click on it, so it's blue, and then click choose image. So now we change the background image. So now we can go in and customize our text. So double click and write the text. So welcome, for example, that's going to be my text. You can even go here and choose a different one. Um, and you can really customize it. You can change the size and you can add effects to it. Um, but I think that's something you should play around with on your own. Um, once you're happy, simply click away and you can adjust it by dragging and dropping. So here I want the dogs to be in focus. So I'm going to put welcome to the side here, for example. And the same for this little text here. Um, lastly, you can also click here. So if you don't want this to be a, an email sign up form, you can simply click delete on your keyboard or right click and click uh, delete right here. It's up to you. I'm going to keep this for the tutorial. Um, so yeah. Now you can go in and you can edit this in more detail. So if you want to edit the border, so if you don't want the border if, or if you want this picture to or this pop up message to be round, for example, you can simply click up here on design. So here you can see that we have um, our already pre-selected um, border around here, the white one, or you can go down here, you can remove the frame if you want the picture only to be the pop up. Um, and you can go down and you have a few different shapes as well to choose from. Um, or a black background, you can see this has added a shadow at the bottom. Um, so you can play around with it as you want. Furthermore, you can go down and click customize design and you can go and edit the border again, or you can add um, round the corners, for example. So you can go here, you can say 60 like this. So now we have rounded corners. You have loads of customization options. I'm just going to go back by clicking con control set on my keyboard. Um, and you can add a shadow like this here and you can choose the angle. Um, so you can really customize it to your liking quite well. Furthermore, you can go up here in the settings, click. And now when the image is clicked on, so if someone clicks on this entire pop-up, a link can open. So you can, uh, for example, choose the link to be to your homepage and you can choose it to be a new window. So you choose the page it's going to link to, or you can add a new page. It's really up to you. Um, so if this is supposed to redirect people and not be a sign up form, you can tell them to click on this to get taken to a different page on your website or to a page with discounts, for example, um, which is also quite a good feature. And just a few of the last settings are filters. So you can go in here and add some different filters if you want to edit the image or you can edit the image here on the Wix website editor. So you can adjust the brightness of it if you want, for example, like this and click save up here. So as you can see, it just got a bit brighter. Once you're happy with everything you've done in terms of the design, you can click away here and now you click out here. So you can see this the light box, that's the pop up. Um, so click here within the blue little uh, border here. And as you can see, it now says manage light boxes, set triggers. So now to actually set a trigger, click here and you can choose what this is going to be called. Um, so this is ideal to change the name of if you're going to have multiple pop-ups on different pages on your website. Um, for example, I want to call it um, home pop pop-up 
oh there we go home pop-up um and you want it to be set to yes here and automatically display lightbox and pages the lightbox is the pop-up so just click yes and here you can even choose the pages it's, it's supposed to be on so click home or if it wanted to be in the shop just tick the box um it's up to you to customize as for delay, I recommend setting at or sticking with at least a two second delay. So that means people are going to land on your website, see that they're on the right website, and then the pop up might appear. Because um, if you have a zero second delay, they might think they're on the wrong website when they're into your website. Um, so just leave a little delay. You can even make it slower. Um, just type in how many seconds. Now you're down to Lightbox scheduling, you can set a schedule right here. So if you want it to be a promotion with a pop-up for a day, for example, so start time, end time from the 4th to the 5th, um, just keep it at this. You can set the time zone. So if this website targets, let's say, Australia, I can go in, in here and set it to uh, the time in Australia. Um, you have a lot of customization options here. And down here, you can also choose how people can click away from your pop up in case they aren't interested in uh, taking advantage of your discount so you can use an x icon as you see up here or a close button as you see here um i'm just going to keep the x for now you can also remove it entirely and people just have to click away from the pop up um but it might be more user friendly to leave the x on so like this now you have some other animation options um so instead of selecting the image like we do here click out here like we were already on now you can go up here and click on animated. From here, you can choose an animation for your pop-up. So if you want this to fade in, for example, like this, choose this one or float in. It might be a bit more eye grabbing on your website. So choose what you like for your website and what you think is going to look the best and fit your website. Um, for example, if I choose the fade in option here, I can click on it and click customize. And here I can choose how long the fade is fade in is going to last so if i want it to be two seconds click here now i can see it by clicking the play button so i think that looks elegant but it might be a bit too slow so if we set it to one second instead here and click play that probably looks better um so yeah you have a few different options when it comes to editing your pop-up box um and if you have made a mistake and you want to delete the pop-up box or go with a different design, you can simply click Manage Light Boxes here or you can go over to the left-hand side and click Pages and Menu. And now you go to Light Boxes here and on the Light Boxes uh, page menu, this is not going to be a page people can click on, by the way, but it's just going to be here for your convenience. You can see all of the different pop-ups you might have for different uh, sites on your website. So as I named it before, Home Pop-Up, this is the one we're seeing here in editing. Um, so you can simply click on the three dots here and click delete if you wish to do that. So basically now we can see the finished product, go up and click publish and click view site. And as you can see, there was a few seconds delay because that's what I set it to. And now people can enter their email address and submit it. Um, and yeah, that's how you can create a nice pop-up on your website. Um, Nice and easily. So if you have any questions at all, please let me know in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.